be able to wear this ring on your finger just yet. It's exactly where it belongs. Right next to your heart. He's but done lost meantime, it. Probably she's gonna wear it on her neck. We'll see about maybe. that. Someday I will say yes. But right now, I just That's what Steffi's calling false hope. I'm not ready for that level of commitment. I hope you can understand. So here's what I don't understand. I am disappointed. Uh, not that I should be disappointed. I mean, obviously this proposal, it caught you off guard. Came out of the blue. But it it was beautiful, though, Thomas. I mean, everything you said. It, and this ring is... Yeah. But you need more time. And I understand. And like I said before, uh, feels like I've waited my entire life to be with you. I can wait a little longer. Ah, guilt to open her. Steffi, what's really going on? Is your brother more like dangerous you than I realized? No. My brother has made some terrible choices in the past. Things that he regrets, but not murder. Oh yeah, murder. Yeah, but you don't seem surprised Andrew would think it. A little hopeful about this. No you problem, taking that Andrew. ring and sliding it on your finger and this huge ear-to-ear -ear grin. All this joy on your face. Thomas. Yeah, Thomas. but you're not ready. I get that. I do. And I'm happy. It's right there next to your heart. Didn't stop messing with it. But yeah. I do think we should yeah. um maybe keep this proposal between yeah. the two of us. At least until I figure myself out. So I'm talking to your dad and your sister about how our relationship should uh, you know, just stay between the two of us. Yeah, also your mom would freak. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I could think of a few people that wouldn't be too thrilled about this. Hmm. That includes Dr. Finn, Mr. Medicine Man. I don't think he's uh, too fond of me. This is so weird. Why would he carry his husband? Randomly, your patient. Pretty sure he's not going to be your my patient. new patient. He'd react well, yeah. seeing your picture and learning that Thomas According is my brother-in-law. Thomas threatened him. Thomas threatened him. We don't know if that's true or not, which... You know it is. The state of mind my brother was in back then, yeah, it, it probably is true, and that's... Wait, so you're saying that Xander is making these accusations, claiming Thomas killed someone as payback? To Steffi earlier, and I was asking her to support us and our relationship. And I said, if, if she can't do that, to at least yeah. not undermine us. Okay. And then Finn came in and warned me not to speak like that to my sister. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was a little Thanks. weird. I know. I don't know. This I guess is really irritating. Like spreading lies that he killed Emma, especially after lies. all this time. Wait till you find out it ain't a lie. I feel terrible about what happened terrible. to Emma. What happened to Emma? She had her whole life ahead of her. It was a tragic accident. She think? lost control of her car, Finn. She drove off Mulholl and she took the turns too quickly. It wasn't murder. Unless somebody run her off the road, right? Can you just get that Please. out of your mind? Because I don't want to think about this anymore. I really don't. I really don't. It was just so much pain and I don't... No, I don't want to talk about it. Xander's wrong. Huh. So let's leave it at that. Oh, okay. You wish. Not gonna happen. <laughs> 